Today I would like to speak on the four pillars of catechism or four pillars of our Catholic faith. The first pillar is profession of faith. Second pillar is celebration of faith. The third pillar is life of faith. And the fourth pillar is prayer in the life of faith. So this is how the four pillars are standing for us and we stand on those four pillars and that is how our faith is standing on those four pillars the catechism the word comes from the greek word katecheo it means to teach orally and that's why whatever jesus taught to his apostles or disciples orally that has been written and that's why that book is known as bible b-i-b-l-e basic instructions before leaving earth. In that way, God has revealed, triune God has revealed from the creation till the coming of the second person of Trinity, Jesus Christ. And finally, he revealed through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Then after that, Jesus has left us the Holy Spirit with us to guide us, to understand that catechism or that faith. God has revealed that faith and that's why we have those four pillars of faith. The first one is the profession of faith or the proclamation of faith. We are called to proclaim or we are called to profess the faith and that's why we profess our faith in God the Father. So one article and also we profess our faith in Jesus Christ, six articles, and also we proclaim our faith in the Holy Spirit, there are five articles. So in that way, the 12 apostles have proclaimed, 12 apostles have professed their faith, and that's why we call it Apostles' Creed or Apostles' Faith. So in that way, they are proclaiming Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's why ordinary people, they will make, they will not understand all the 12 articles, but they will make only the sign of cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that is how the ordinary people professed their faith, proclaimed their faith in the triune God, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. And the second pillar of the faith or our catechism is celebration of faith. We celebrate this faith in the seven sacraments from the baptism till the death. We celebrate our, our life. So that is our celebration of our faith, celebration of our catechism. And in that way, the first three sacraments, baptism, confirmation and Eucharist, these are known as the sacraments of initiation, sacraments of faith, sacraments of religion. These three sacraments make us real Christians, Catholic Christians. And that's why these are known as the first fundamental sacraments, baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. And the second group of sacraments are known as the sacraments of healing, reconciliation, or penance, and the anointing of the sick. So continuously God heals us. That's why these two sacraments are there to heal us. Sacraments of healing. And the last two sacraments are for the communion and service, matrimony and holy orders. And this is how these both sacraments are for communion, for union with God and with one another. And also they are for service, serving God and serving one another. So this is how the celebration of sacraments and this is our Catholic culture. These seven sacraments teach us the Christian culture, the divine culture, celebration of our culture, celebration of our sacraments. And then the third pillar of our catechism or the faith is life in Christ or our, our life of faith, how we live on earth and for that we have been given the eight beatitudes, the ten commandments, and the five precepts in different ways, the, all the virtues, divine virtues and human virtues. This is our life on earth, our ethics on earth, our morality on earth. 
So God has given us these things, what to do and what not to do. In that way, God has given us ten commandments or the Decalogue, ten words, and that ten words are made into the twofold commandments. Love your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and all your strength. At the same time, love your neighbor as yourself. So these are the twofold commandments. And finally, Jesus makes them into one commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So that's the commandment of love. This is our life on earth, our morality, our ethics on earth. And the last pillar of our faith is the prayer in, prayer in faith or our prayer life in catechism or our, our prayer life in our daily lives. So this is how that prayer is taught by Jesus himself, our Father. The basic prayer Jesus has taught us, call God our Father. Though he is his own father, but he told us to call our father because he is our elder brother. In that way, he taught us to call God our father. And we are brothers and sisters on earth. And that's why we pray our father. And in the our father, we have seven petitions, seven intercessions. We petition God, we ask God. Prayer is asking God or relating God or surrendering our body, mind and spirit to God. That is what prayer is. That is what worship of God is. And that's why this prayer has seven petitions, yet we can make it to a four type of prayers. The first three type of prayers or the first three, three petitions will be known as the prayer of praise. We are praising God for creating us and for saving us and for providing us. And then we have the prayer of thanksgiving. Give us this day our daily bread, we say. And God gives us everything every day. And that's the prayer of thanksgiving. And then we have the prayer of forgiveness. God forgives us. And we, also, we are also called to forgive ourselves and one another and even God. And then the final prayer will be the prayer of deliverance or deliverance from sin and death. So in that way, these are the four pillars. Catholic, Catholic Church has taught us. And this, this, uh, this catechism of the Catholic Church, we find in the CCC 13. These are the four pillars of the catechism or four pillars of our faith. And even 6, 1697, we see the varieties of catechisms, varieties, nine types of catechisms are there. First is the center is the Jesus Christ because he is the rabbi, he is the teacher, orally he taught us. And that's why this is basically knowing Jesus and loving Jesus and following Jesus. And then we have the Catechism of the Holy Spirit, Catechism of the Grace, Catechism of the Beatitudes, and Catechism of the Sin and Forgiveness, and Catechism, catechism of the Human Virtues, and Catechism of the Christian Virtues, Faith, Hope, and Love, and Catechism of the Twofold Commandments, Loving God and Loving One Another. And then finally we have the Ecclesiastical Catechism, where all of us have to believe and grow and communicate with God and that is how these are our four fundamental pillars proclaiming, celebrating, living and communicating with God and with one another and let us catechize, let us listen from God because by listening our faith grows Romans 10:17. Let us listen and grow in faith. Let our pillars be strong. Thank you.